today we are going to learn how to make sticky scroll in Framer. All right, let's get started. I just opened a new Framer file. Let's go to assets, create a component. Let's name it image and let's keep the size maybe 360 by 360. All right, and I'm going to give a color. So this is going to be our image, but uh, you know, like I'm not creating any images for the demo purpose. So I'm just choosing different colors for the different component. So that way it will be easy for you to understand. Okay, yeah, so this is our first variant. Now I'm going to create another variant and let's color it. This okay. Now another variant. Let's make it a little purple. <coughs> and last one. Let's make it this. Okay. So these are the four images that we are going to make it sticky. Okay. Now go to home. <coughs> so now I am going to import a text. Okay. Let's type it as. Uh, discover and let's change the text color to dark for now and I'm going to add a frame on top of this and I'm going to name it as tag um, let's add some padding I'm clicking on layout and let's add the top padding 8 left 16 8 16 so here you can see there is no changes happening here that is because when we create a new layout the width and height are set as fixed so let's change it into fit content fit content okay it's ready now i'm going to add some border let's make it little light add some corner radius okay so the tag is ready now I'm going to insert another text this is going to be the title so let's set the width okay, I think this is enough for now now I'm going to group the tag and the title. This is section one. And I'm going to make it in layout. Left aligned and 20 pixel padding. And let's change this fixed height into fit content. Okay, I think this is little bold. So let's make it regular and maybe size can be 32 okay yeah so this is good enough so this is section one and here i am what i'm going to do next is i'm going to set the height into viewport so what will happen when we set the height into viewport is basically it will be full height of the screen so whatever screen we are going to open this let it be laptop or monitor you know 32 inch or 40 inch whatever this is going to be full height so what i want to do is the text and image should occupy in the entire screen i don't want to see any other things in the screen that's why i'm setting height into full viewport so this is section one now let's group it and make it as content and i'm going to make it layout and this should be start so it will be left aligned all right so this also i'm going to set the height into uh, fit content because i want to add more items into this 
not just this even i'm going to make the desktop also height into feet content because this is going to be a little longer all right so now i'm going to duplicate the section 1 into section 2 so here you can see it is coming on left hand side but we need it in we need it actually below not on the right so i'm going to select the content folder content group and i'm going to make the direction here you can see left to right and top to bottom we i need top to bottom see came to bottom all right now i'm going to duplicate this into three and four okay so this is this part is done now i'm going to frame it again and calling it as scroll area and making it layout here i want to make it left to right because i'm going to add an image component on right hand side let's go to assets let's get our image and paste it here scroll area okay here you know you can see the content is cut because the width and height are set as fixed by default now i'm going to make it fit content fit content so you can see the image actually came here let's change the order Okay, now it is in right hand side now what i want is here see uh, the image is actually coming vertically center aligned i want to make it top aligned so i'm going to select the scroll area and going to make it top okay now i'm going to put a frame for image and i'm going to name it as sticky this is going to be the sticky component in our design okay so this sticky again i'm going to make it as layout okay now i'm going to set the height into full viewport i already explained i want to see just left left side content and the right side image only in the screen so i need full height okay now you can see the content and the image both are very close so i'm going to add some padding Maybe eight. Yeah, I need a lot of gap between contents. Okay, now let's go to second section, and I'm going to change the text. And discover will change to define. I'm just taking the content from online and just pasting it here. This is not my original content, but for the purpose of demo, I'm just so we need a proper demarcation between the content and the sections. So that's why I'm just updating the content here. So then it will be easy to understand. Okay. Now I'm going to insert a small section for header and footer. That is just because we want to perform the scroll and we need some extra elements on top and bottom to you know like uh, to show show the full fledged scroll interactions so i'm going to insert so i'm going to insert a frame so i'm going to set the height into width into fill and height Let's make it 440. Now I'm going to make it a little darker background. Okay. So I'm going to name it header and the bottom one footer. This is going to be the last one. Okay. Alright. Now let's click on sticky group 
and make the position into sticky. So the viewport automatically changed, edit it into 100 only. Uh, here I am going to select section 1 and click on scroll section on right hand side. So scroll section is basically we are going to give ID to each of this section. This is going to be the reference for the scroll interaction. So here I am going to name it as 1 and going to I am selecting section 2. Again going to scroll section and naming it as 2. Going to section 3, naming it as 3. Section 4, naming it as 4. Alright, so the content area is done. Now let's go to the image component. Go to effects on right hand side. Click on effects and select scroll variant. So this is basically change the variant of the component based on scroll. So here by default it is layer in view. I'm going to select it as section in view because we want to switch the variant based on the section appearing on left hand side. So that's why we created IDs for every section. So this is going to be the reference point here. So you can see viewport here. This is basically, so the section we are going to call which part of the screen it should appear to perform the scroll. So I'm going to make it as middle because I just want to change, make this transition whenever the content appear almost middle of the screen. Okay, replay is basically, the, should we repeat this animation every time user scroll or once it is done, once the animation is done, let's stop it. So I'm going to make it as replay, yes. And I'm going to make the section one. Okay, so this is going to be the first animation. I'm going to select section one and variant will be variant one. And I'm going to click on add section and uh, I'm going to select section two and the variant will be two. Again, section three, variant will be three. And section four, variant will be four. That's it. Now let's see the preview. So the image is changing, third one also changed and that's it. So once all the four sections are done, even the sticky image is also scrolling because the parent, so overall container is over, so then it will go up. Okay, now let's scroll back. See, it's changing, it's changing, that's it, done. If you have enjoyed and learned something new in this video, don't forget to like, share and press that subscribe button for more such in design.